This is JP Valdez and I will be presenting to you the local economic enterprise of Public Cemetery. Household population data of General Santos City as of 2015. Source Philippine Statistics Authority. Urbanity in General Santos is computed at 97.42 out of 26 barangays, 22 barangays were classified as urban. Only 4 barangays remained rural, namely Barangay Aperlabay, Batomelong, Olimpog, and Bigaya. Cemeteries and Memorial Parks of General Santos City As of 2015, the city has a total of 18 cemeteries, 9 of which are public cemetery, while the other 9 is privately owned cemetery. As to public cemeteries in the city, Connell Cemetery is the biggest in terms of area with a total area of 11.5 hectares with a capacity of 8,531 niches. The Barangay Cemetery located at Barangay Mabuhay has the biggest niches capacity among the public cemeteries in the city with a total capacity of 20,000 niches. Welcome to the Antonio Acharon Memorial Park. ACAM is one of the local economic enterprise of General Santos City. It is being managed by the City Housing Land and Management Office. Come and let's have a look inside. Honoring the memory of former Mayor Antonio C. Acharon Sr., considering that he was the one who fought with his family the allocation of land for public cemetery. When he died, he was buried here. And to honor his legacy, this facility was named after him by the virtue of Ordinance Number no. 20, Series of 2012. One of the activities highlighted during the UNDAS is the dog coat. Uh, it is being prepared for our loved one's soul, for their peace. Uh, prayers are being offered here. Uh, 2013, when first burial happened here. And, uh, uh, during the restructuring of this facility, we have observed that a lot of changes compared to other cemetery nearby provinces or cities of General Santos City. So come and why it is considered as a local economic enterprise. If you feature a public cemetery, all public cemeteries all over the Philippines has the same picture. No proper road plan, you have to stop other niches in order for you to find your loved ones congested and it is hopelessly overcrowded when the chlmo developing the area they noticed that there are a lot of buried in the cemetery that are not documented and very chaotic with the concerted effort of city general services office the city health office and the city housing land and management office a camp now earning three million approximately amount per annum and they are also starting to have an income for the individual bone chamber more or less two million per year just like other local economic enterprise a camp is being challenged for the changing of the new administration since the employees assigned at the field are job order employees and they only have this month to render their service with the concerns and recommendations being transpired during my presentation I have the chance to meet the department head of CHLMO, Miss Mary Ann Calonso Tan, at her office. Yes. Good morning. I'm here at the City Housing Land and Management Office, CHLMO. I am here with the department head of CHLMO, Miss Mary Ann Calonso Tan. 
Hello, good morning. I'm Mary Ann Caloasa Tanda, City Housing Officer and at the same time the administrator of the Antonio C. Acharon Memorial Park being operated by this office. The 22 million that was in Dakuan was the first first allocation, first allocation during the time of Antonio May of June when we started the project. And then, nasundan ni Mang Darli, mula sa tuloy-tuloy ni Mayor Coronel. Kaya sa nasara na namin talaga yung facility. Mm -hmm. But if you look into the facility, no, I don't call it a cemetery, we call it the facility. Mm -hmm. Secured talaga siya sa loob. Mm -hmm. yes, marami, marami na application, you can go there kahit madaling araw, may mm -hmm. na nakasak. In fact, siguro ako lang ang department na meron 22 channels of CCTV. Wow, may CCTV na naka-install yes. doon. May CCTV na naka-install doon para bantayan yung mga gusto na lang na nakasagabi. <laughs> At saka hindi, ang, ang purpose kasi namin is during UNGAS operation. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Diba? Good, good, walang operation last two years. Mm -hmm. Pero pag may UNGAS operation kasi high risk siya. Yeah. Kaya meron kami CCTV. Before, para ilang mga channels doon, no? para six or uh, eight channels. Mm -hmm. Ay, hindi mo na ko nakapi. <laughs> Pakuha ko, please. Pero na rin yun na ng account. Wow. Yeah. More or less 600 plus thousand. That's the collection mm -hmm. of the uh, trust fund. Kaya kaya, ang dali kong maka... Ang dali kong maka... How do you call that? Procure. Because I don't have to beg for the general. We share ng cluster. So doon siya sa pera niya na yun. Now, up to the best cemetery, I wish. <laughs> See, don't love her din kami. Pero, never... How do you call that? Alam ko naman, all over the Philippines, wala ka alam na public, public, pet and death. Private usually. Yeah, it's really private. In fact, I have a friend in Cebu. Meron siyang dog si Materi. No, they're wrong. Meron siyang dog si Materi kasi ang dog kasi niya siya kwenta. Oh, no. Isang floor ng bahay na puro dog. Muslim si Materi. I've talked a little about Muslim si Materi. During the time of Mayor Garley, Meron na siyang po ang makabili ng Muslim Cemetery to buy a new site because hindi pwede by culture, or was a former slum, hindi talaga pwede itabi ang Muslim Cemetery to a Christian Cemetery for the matter. Uh, hindi na for sale yun because ang baba nga ng appraisal. Ting, during the time of Mayor Ronald, second term, nakita kami. And the family is very much willing na kahit mababa, Umayag sila dito for the purpose. Mas lang din kasi ang may ari sa We had now an 11 hectare property in Bacomelo uh, as the proposed Muslim cemetery. Mm -hmm. Plantilla position, unfortunately, all my workers there are shop workers. Mm -hmm. Under sila sa housing, home site, and physical planning division. So, yun yun, may supervisor lang sila. Mm -hmm. May supervisor lang sila na regular, but the rest are Sa aming proposal, sa proposal namin sa upgrading uh, our organizational structure, actually, naglagay rin ako ng regular, okay. pero hindi lahat. Hmm. Number one, why? Hindi ka natin na political accommodation. Yeah. They will be placed there. Hmm. Pangalawa, pag regular na lahat, wala nang gusto mong trabaho kasi regular na sila lahat. Okay. Yung din yung isa sa mga question na. Yeah, oo. Oh, so, yung mga laborers, hmm. yung mga paan natin. Gusto so, lahat, naka-uniform yung mga natin sila. Eh. Iasa na lang din doon. Sa job order. Sa job order. Kaya, mas marami ang gusto kong job order sa mga ganun. Hmm. Mga positions. So, yun nga, political accommodation. How about, ma'am, doon sa regularization sa kanila? Kasi, in, ano naman sa mga kind of toxic waste na kinaano doon sa pako. Hmm. Like hazard. Hindi, hindi kami qualified sa kasa. Hindi din pala. Hindi. Kasi in fact, dapat ako exposed ako doon. Mm -hmm. Iba, may probability pa ako yung staff ko eh. We wrote the mayor during the time kung pwede sa local police. Hindi kami qualified. Hmm. Hindi, hindi lahat ng department na exposed to hazard sa mm -hmm. green hazard free. Kaya mo. Iba ako. Oo. Oh, oh. Hindi, hindi. Uh, specific talaga ang hazard free sa hospital. Sa city niya, mm -hmm. city niya siya rin pag wala. So, ganun siya, we do not enjoy the hazard pay. My policy recommendations will always be the regularization of job order workers working in the facility. 
provision of hazard pay claims of employees should not be limited to the hospital employees only. My hope for the government to establish a pet cemetery, maybe not this time, but someday. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Ma Mary Ann Calon Sotan for giving me the opportunity to visit the Akamp Cemetery. I hope that you learned something about the public cemetery as the local economic enterprise.